Never checking your ad analytics is like never looking at a bank statement. You have no idea what's going on in there, and you won't be able to see trouble coming before it gets you. So let's get you comfortable with ad analytics. I'll also share some possible bad ad scenarios and what you should do to fix them. Come on in. Great to see you today. I'm Morgan, a digital marketing professional at Life Marketing. Here's something I learned early on in my digital marketing career. It's hard to run good ads when you don't know what to look for. That's because you can't identify the changes that you need to make to see improvements. That's why I'm going to walk you through Facebook ads reporting and how to understand your ad performance. Here's what I'll cover in today's video. We'll look at your account overview for quick checks. Then I'll show you how to check performance by campaign, ad set, and ad. We'll look at reporting and some troubleshooting tips. Let's start with account overview. Anytime you visit your account, you'll land on the overview page, which shows you updates about policy changes, additions, or upcoming releases, recommendations for your ads and your campaigns, alerts, which are urgent items that you need to fix immediately, like ad rejections and payment failures, recommendations for improving your campaigns, things you can do to unblock your campaigns, a summary of your account over the last seven days, and campaign trends for primary metrics depending on your goal. The alerts and recommendations that you see are customized to you and are always relevant to your account. This is helpful to identify things that a more trained eye would be able to see, but maybe you'd miss. You've still got someone looking out for you this way. Here's how you get to the account overview. Go to business.facebook.com slash home or click the house icon or gray Facebook logo in the top left corner. You'll see a greeting with announcements at the top. Then you'll see ad account, performance, and alerts. Scroll down to see pages. Now that you know how to check the overview for updates, suggestions, and quick snapshots, let's look at checking your performance on a deeper level. You'll need to be able to identify how your ads are performing so that you can make the necessary changes to improve the effectiveness of your ads. When your ads are optimized, the process of improving your ads, you'll see more conversions, at a better click-through rate with a lower cost per acquisition. Before I show you how to view your ad results and check your performance, here's a message from one of our co-founders about our brand new courses. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. Welcome back. Let's look at how to view your ad results and check your performance. You'll spend a lot of time here, so you'll be able to do this with your eyes closed pretty soon. Go to the ads manager, click campaigns, ad set, or ads, depending on what you'd like to look at. Click view charts to open the insights side panel to see a visual representation of your ads performance. In this expanded view, you'll be able to see a few different categories. The first is performance. The performance chart shows the number of people who click on your ad, the number of people you reach, and the overall cost of your ad. If you scroll over the line chart, you'll see individual results for that day reflected in the chart. If you want to change the results you see in the charts, click custom and choose all the metrics that you would like to view. Now there is a short delay in metrics being reported in the ads manager, since performance data isn't available instantly. These delays are normal and to be expected. So if you're not seeing, for example, conversions that you know for a fact went through, it's probably just a delay in the data being available to you in Facebook. Now the next chart you can look at is demographics. The demographics chart shows how your ad performs across different ages and genders. You can scroll over each section of the chart to see individual results for each group. You'll want to check this to make sure you're spending money on the right people. The next is placement. The placement chart shows your ad's performance across different placements, like Facebook or Instagram. Depending on where your ad is eligible to appear, you'll see where your ad is receiving the most delivery. You can also click the drop-down menu to see where your ad appears on mobile and desktop devices. The final chart is delivery. The delivery chart shows the predicted and delivered value for reach, impressions, and amount spent. Let me show you how to view results by platform, device, and placement. You need to be optimizing your ads for each of the three categories I just mentioned, platform, device, and placement to refresh your memory. This prevents you from wasting money on areas that aren't performing well and helps you focus your efforts on areas that are performing well. You'll use Breakdown to view these results. Go to Ads Manager and click Campaigns, Ad Sets, or Ads. You'll click these dots next to Reports and choose Breakdown to expand the list of options. Click the breakdown that you'd like to use. These are grouped by time, by delivery, or by action. The table will automatically update to include the breakdown that you've selected and will look like this. You'll want to exclude any placements, devices, or platforms that aren't performing well for you and publish these changes. These changes will make you re-enter the learning phase, so you may want to batch this with other changes that you're planning to make 
like updating your creative, changing your budget, or your targeting. Let's look at reporting. Even if you're the only one working on and caring about your Facebook ads, you'll need to know how to find and create reports. Reporting is important for a few reasons. The first is that reports help you put the numbers into context. The second is that reports help you identify trends, like seasons or days of the week that perform well or not well. The third is reports help you track changes to your ads over time, for better or worse. The fourth is that reports help you compare past campaigns to current campaigns. And the fifth is that reports give you insights into changes that you should make next time. Let's look at how to view those reports. Facebook allows you to create, export, share, and view your reports from Ads Manager. It's pretty easy to find. You'll go to Ads Manager, and on the far right, click the Reports dropdown. Click one of the suggested report options here, or select All to see more options. When you make a selection, our report will open in a new window. I'll show you another way to navigate here in just a second. View performance, change data presentation, adjust date range, and add or remove tables to review whatever you want to review. You can save the report, refresh the window, share a link to the report, and download the report as well. Now let me show you how you can view all of the reports that you've created. Once you've navigated here, you can click All Reports to be taken back to the Ads Reporting Dashboard. From here, you can create reports, either custom or from a template, by clicking the blue Create button. You can export your report history and use suggested reporting templates. Let me quickly show you how to create custom reports. When you get more advanced with your ad analytics and optimization, you'll want to measure different things and you may need your own custom reports. Here's how you'll create your report. In Add Reports, click the blue Create Report button. Choose the account that you'd like to make the report for. Click Create. Select Blank Report or Report from Template. I chose Report from Template. Make your selection and click Next. Select your template. I went with ROI Snapshot, but you can see all of the other names and the data that they cover here. Click Continue. A new window will open up with your report. You can add or remove columns to customize further as you wish and save the report for later. Now let's look at how to share reports. You may need to share these reports with other people at your business. You can do that by clicking the gray Share Arrow button. Click the Copy Link button or click into the Link field and Copy. Please note that you need to save your report in order to share a link. You'll see this message if you haven't done so yet, so click Save. Now anyone with the link will be able to view your report. If you're managing ads yourself, check your ads and use reporting at your discretion. Do whatever will help you keep everything straight. If you're using an employee, a freelancer, or an agency to help you with your ads, ask for monthly reporting so that you can stay up to date if they don't offer that already. So what happens if you're checking your ad performance and you don't like what you see? What do you do next? Well, here are some ideas for a couple of scenarios that you might run into. Let's say you log into your account and you find out that your ad isn't running. Check the delivery column stats in Ads Manager. If the delivery column shows a red error triangle icon, then there is a problem publishing your ad. If you hover over this icon, you'll see instructions for fixing the problem. You can fix your issue and then publish your ad again. If the delivery column shows a green circle pending icon, then the ad is not running because it's in draft mode, is in a review, or it's scheduled to go at a later date. If the delivery column says off, the ad is turned off. There are a few reasons why your ads could be turned off. Someone could have manually turned them off. They could have turned off when an automated rule that you created told them to turn off. They could have been scheduled to end at that date. Or your ads could have been turned off for account issues like restrictions or payment problems. Let's look at what to do when your ad is running but not receiving enough results. I'll share a few different scenarios and what to do about them. The first one is that your ad isn't getting enough results, but other ads in the same budget are. Facebook prioritizes ad delivery based on what will perform well, so sometimes that means an ad or two in an ad set won't be shown. If you want the ads to be shown equally to see which performs better, use an A-B test. Otherwise, if they're ads on the same topic in the same campaign, I would just shut off the ads that aren't performing well and focus on the ones that are. The second scenario is your ad has exited the learning phase, but you're not spending your full budget. What do you do? If delivery for your ad set is bid limited or cost limited, your cost control is preventing your ad set from getting more results. Either increase your cost control or choose lowest cost bid strategy instead. You can also check your frequency. If your frequency is high or you see creative fatigue in delivery status, then you need to freshen up your creative and your targeting. And if the ad set has a high auction overlap, you have multiple ads entering the same auction. When this happens, your ads may also be competing against themselves. If the ad set has high auction overlap, then you have multiple ads that are entering the same bid. When this happens, Facebook is going to bid your ads against each other and choose the ad with the highest total value. The rest of your ads will not be shown, which can result in you not spending your full budget. It can also result in you spending more than you need to 
to get those clicks. Avoid this by combining similar ad sets and turning off any of your overlapping ad sets. Now let's say that your ad is running but costs are too high. This is really one of the worst things but it's often a pretty easy fix if you know what to do. Before you panic about costs though, ask yourself this question. Has my ad exited the learning phase? If the answer is no, then you need to wait before you make any changes or turn the ad off. But Morgan, you scream, this is madness, the cost. I know it's scary, but when your ads are in the learning phase, they're a little volatile. Cost and performance during the learning phase are not always indicative of cost or performance when they exit the learning phase. Once your ads have exited the learning phase, you can try these methods to reduce the cost of your Facebook ads. But give it at least 48 hours before you make any judgment calls on your current ads or make any changes after you've left the learning phase. So the first thing that you can do is improve your audience. Facebook works to show your ad to the people in your audience who will take the action at the lowest cost. If your costs are high, Facebook recommends expanding your audience so that you have more people to look through to find that inexpensive click. The smaller you make your audience, the harder it will be for Facebook to find low-cost actions. Your second option is to add new placements. This leans into expanding your audience. Adding placements gives Facebook more options when they're looking for a cheaper click because they can show your ad across different apps. The third is to improve your creative. Ad relevance diagnostics and frequency play a big role in determining your ad costs. If you have a below average ad relevance diagnostic, for example, a below average ad relevance diagnostic will make your ads cost more. You wanna make sure that you improve those diagnostics first. I recently did a video on this one, check that out here. If your frequency is above a four, your ad is showing to the same people too many times. You need to freshen up your creative and get people to your audience. The fourth thing you can do is to make sure that you get out of a learning limited phase. Learning limited is kind of like a limbo phase that happens when your ad isn't generating enough optimizations to exit the learning phase. You need at least 50 optimizations in a week to get out of the learning phase that Facebook puts you in after you put your ads live. Here are all of the things that can cause your ad set to become limited. A small audience size, a low budget, a low bid or cost control, high auction overlap, infrequent optimization events, like you're optimizing for sales when you've never had one on your website, and too many ads running in a campaign at the same time. As you can see, there are multiple things that can put you into a learning limited. So that means there are multiple ways to fix it. Let me walk you through that before we go. The first thing you can do is combine your ad sets and your campaigns. Combining ad sets and campaigns will help you get the results that you need faster, which means you'll see stable results sooner. The next thing you can do is expand your audience. The larger the audience, the more opportunities for people to complete your optimization event. Remember, Facebook is scouring for people that are likely to do what you want them to do. You can also raise your budget. If your budget is too low to receive around 50 optimization events in a week, the ad set is unlikely to exit the learning limited phase. If you've had any optimizations, take a look to see what the cost per optimization is. Take that cost and multiply it by how many optimizations you want in a week, and that's how much your bid should be. That gives you a good idea of what your budget should be. Likewise, you can raise your bid or cost control. If your bid or cost control is too low to receive around 50 optimization events, then your ad set is not going to exit that learning limited phase. You can try to run your ads without a bid or a cost control for a while to see how that goes for you. I found that for most of my small business clients, putting in a cost control is not necessary. You can also change your optimization event. Consider choosing an optimization event that occurs more frequently, like moving from purchases to add to cart. If a learning limited ad set receives 50 optimization events since your last significant edit, then it will move from learning limited to active. This should help reduce the cost of your ad quite a bit. If you learned something new or found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Also, if you have any topics that you'd be interested in learning about, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I'll see you in an upcoming video. Happy marketing!